In this video, we'll look at the totally redesigned calendar in Blackboard Learn 9.1 Service Pack 10. If you don't already have the calendar in your uh, course menu, you may very well want to go ahead and add it now because the calendar has been transformed and is far more useful than it was up to now. To do that, just mouse over the plus sign at the upper left-hand corner of the course menu and select Tool Link. In the drop-down menu, select Calendar and give the link a name, probably just Calendar or whatever you wish. Make it available to users and submit. As you can immediately tell, the calendar has been completely redesigned. The, uh, it possesses all of the traditional features, multiple views, and the ability, of course, to create calendar events. You can create a calendar event on the current day by just clicking the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner of the calendar display or you can create a calendar event on any other day or range of days by clicking on the day or the first day of the range, uh, giving a title. You can create this event uh, in any of your courses and you can of course enter a start date and the interface for that is very nice with sliders containing or controlling hour and minute and end date in addition to an event description with of course an option to specify an event as all day. This calendar as indicated before is capable or is capable of uh, displaying events from any or all of your courses simultaneously. For instance, if I check Sandbox 3 here, suddenly events appear from that course. Or you can choose not to, as you wish. All this we had before, but this calendar has some marvelous new features that I think you'll find exceptionally useful. To illustrate some of those, let's first create a test in the course. I'll just pick an existing test to deploy. I'll go ahead and set uh, availability dates and I'll be especially careful to set a due date. Let's set that to next Wednesday. When I submit that uh, deployment go back to the calendar. There's the an item in the calendar automatically displayed for that test. If I click on that item, I can modify the due date here. I can grade the test if there are submissions or I can edit the test from the calendar. The link will also appear to the students in this class. Here's a student view of the calendar. And if a student clicks on this uh, item, which you'll note is color-coded to indicate the particular class in which this event is taking place, the student has a link that they can click on to take them directly to the test so that they can begin it.
The same sort of functionality is available for assignments. Again, it's necessary to be sure that we select the due date. You don't even have to um, set availability dates if you don't wish to, but you must set a due date in order to have the item appear in the calendar. We'll set that for, let's say, the 16th. to give it a number of points there. Back to the calendar. And there's our assignment entry. We can grade or edit the assignment from this screen. Students can go to the assignment and fulfill it from the screen without having to navigate through course menus or folder trees or learning modules. Gradable discussions, unfortunately, even if due dates are set in the uh, grade center columns for those discussions, do not automatically appear in the calendar. It is possible, however, to um, put an event in the calendar that indicates the duration over which a discussion forum will be available simply by creating an event. Let's say we have a forum that will be available from the 7th through the 31st. We can start on the 7th. make sure that we're making this entry in the correct course. We've already got the 7th in here. We can adjust the time if we wish. With the slider. And we can set that to the 31st at oops, perhaps near end of day. Add an optional description if we wish, and save. This will indicate to the students the time period during which that discussion will be available. Finally, perhaps not the most important feature, but probably the most remarkable, is the ability to easily change the due date on an item. For instance, this test here. If I decide I want to give them another day, all I have to do is click and drag that event to the next day or to wherever I wish it. You are cautioned that this does not affect availability dates. So you have to change those manually if that's necessary. But it will change the due date and we can indicate that or we can prove that by going to the test itself, going to test options, and where before this test was due on the 9th, it's now due on the 10th. Isn't that something? All in all, the Blackboard calendar is now far more useful than it was before and can serve basically as the navigation and notification center for an entire course.